Chris Spiker with my camera person, Lord Spiker, and we are on the road today. We're a couple miles above Palm Springs. We're in the San Jacinto National Forest. It's an amazing place with miles and miles of trails. Let's look at the, the ranger station up here. And this is where you, you got to check in. You ride the tram up. Uh, they give a military discount, they give a AAA discount, they give a senior discount, but don't wait too long. And you uh, come up here, they have a nice little place for lunch if you want. You sign in at the ranger station, you get a permit. You always get a permit. You gotta have the paperwork. It's a great place. So we went out for four miles and uh, we had a little rain. In fact, it's raining now, but you gotta be dressed right. When you go out in California, even California, with all the freeways and all the perfect weather, and a McDonald's every couple of miles, you got to be ready. So, let's head on out. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so, we're feeling pretty good at 9,000 feet. 200 feet up in the San Jacinto Mountains. 50 miles of trails up here. It's all pretty easy. It's all level. Well, <laughs> kind of level. It's all pretty easy. It doesn't take any certain skills. And uh, walking sticks are good for secure footing. Walking sticks, lots of water. Protection from the sun, protection from the wind, protection from the rain. No wild animals. Lots of people. Lots of volunteers. So bring plenty of food. Bring a couple quarts of water each. Sun protection. It's a beautiful day in the woods. And the permit is free, right? The permit was free? Yes. Okay. You just have to sign up. They just want to know where you are out here. And whether you're doing a day hike or overnight. We're in the campground. Not much of a view because we're in amongst the trees. Even when you're just taking a little day hike just a couple miles from the car, you got to have all your stuff because you never know when your situation could uh, change. The weather comes in, the temperature drops, you have a medical emergency, you need to always be prepared because uh, you can't always have somebody come and save you. This is where the Minnesota people come by in shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> California guys are putting rain gear on. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So like I said, you can get a little bit wet, so you don't want to get cold. Yeah, it's continuing to rain, and now I'm I'm uh, sweating and wet from the rain. Good time just to warm up a little bit, and uh, it's a short hike. We've gone about two miles. We just had lunch and something to drink, and uh, the light is kind of flat, which is sweet light for photography, and uh, it's cooled down nice. If you stop, you get cold. If you keep moving, you don't really uh, don't feel the cold. There are people up here in flip-flops. Well, they had rain here yesterday, and it's uh, raining a little bit today. So the stream bed kind of gets green. Beautiful bear grass growing there. Okay, we're just coming down through these big piles of rocks. The trees that have lived. And, woo! <laughs> uh, and the ones that haven't lived. Pretty cool down through a jumble and uh, no fires in here, no smoking in here. <laughs> you know, so it was great to get here early and we were dressed for the weather and now it's starting to rain at the lower elevation. Time to go inside and catch a cup of coffee and uh, catch the next tram. We're on the road.
Chris Spiker on the road at the Palm Springs Aerial Tram in Palm Springs, California. You need to check it out. It's a great place. Dress for weather. Take care. Remember, when you're on the trail, you're almost there.